For the first time in decades, Future Farmers of America has a presence at the Cheyenne County Fair. It means a lot, actually. It gives the FFA chapter a new start. It gets FFA out there for the kids, the community. Layton FFA Vice President Aaron Daniels is competing along members of Sydney's FFA chapter this year. Sydney just finished its first year as a chapter, Layton its sixth. It's an exciting prospect for many. We are a small town and yes, we haven't had an FFA chapter for a long time, but I think this will honestly bring in more entertainment as well as even new people and it can encourage kids to further their horizons and what they can study. Sydney's Emily Miller is showing a pig, steer, lamb, and goat in 2021. She hopes to see FFA's numbers grow as the years go on. And I'm really excited just to get them out and help encourage others in the near future to show more in FFA as well as even in 4-H. In Daniel's case, she competes in 4-H in Morrill County. Through FFA, she has another chance to master her craft. To have the experience to go out and be around a new, a new surroundings, new people. It means a lot to bring my animal here. Wednesday evening, Miller and Daniels making history, becoming the first two to compete in an official FFA show at Cheyenne County's Fair in decades. According to Sydney FFA advisor Cheney Peterson, Sydney hasn't had an FFA chapter since the 1950s. Layton is also in their first year competing since getting their chapter. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor for all the FFA kids to be here to support our school and our dreams to go out and do something amazing. In the future, don't be surprised if you see more FFA blue among the white shirts of the 4-H competitors in Cheyenne County. Reporting from Cheyenne County, I'm Ellie Chisholm, News Channel, Nebraska.